I'm Brian Sakawa, you're watching He Spoke Style, and today I'm gonna to show you my desk setup. I wanna give a shout out to Brock at The Modest Man for uh, the inspiration for this. Appreciate that very much. So first things first, my desk is never as clean as you're going to see it today. I strive to keep it this clean because I find the neater things are at the desk and around the studio, uh, the less anxious I feel uh, and the more productive I am. But you know, this is a workspace and it's impossible to keep completely pristine all the time. I tend to be someone who's prone to making piles of things. Uh, I know it's only gonna take like 10 to 15 minutes to neaten up, but sometimes it's the last thing I want to do, though I always feel so much better when I do put that time in. All right, so moving on now to the desk setup. And first, the actual desk. This desk or table is by Blue Dot. Blue Dot is a sort of minimalist furniture company. It was founded by two architects and a sculptor. So the form of everything is always very, very well considered. Everything's got sort of a minimal modern feel with clean lines uh, and I really like the aesthetic. This table is the strut. It's the large size, uh, it's 75 inches long and 35 inches wide. Uh, it's a huge surface, obviously bigger than I need for just working at the computer, but uh, it's great to have the extra space for when we're shooting outfit videos. I can line up all the accessories like pocket squares, watches, glasses, sunglasses, uh, and just have them all readily available. We've also used this surface for top-down video in the past, and of course this uh, area is where I sit for this main talking shot. It is also the area that tends to become the repository of piles of things, but not now, uh, and I'm gonna try to keep it that way. Next is my chair. It's very old. Uh, I honestly don't even know what brand this is. It doesn't say anywhere on the chair. Uh, it's comfortable enough. The height is adjustable. Uh, I personally like the armrests. It has wheels, so it can easily roll across the floor or to the other side of the desk. Uh, actually, sometimes I set up my laptop on the other side of the desk, uh, sometimes for other work, uh, and the chair makes it easy to go back and forth between computers. Speaking of computers, my desktop computer is an iMac. Uh, it's very old. It's from late 2012, 21 and a half inches. Uh, I completely maxed out the RAM so it runs as fast as it possibly can. Have the Magic Keyboard and the Magic Mouse as well. My mouse pad is by McMurray and Blonde. It's a small company in Chicago. Uh, they make really nice high quality leather goods. So this computer, obviously not the fastest or newest model, but it gets a job done for me. Uh, since I have Ian who edits all the videos, I'm not doing any of those things that were, require a real high-speed processor. Though in terms of photos, I do work from an external hard drive just to keep as much off the machine uh, itself so it'll run as smoothly as possible. I'll probably upgrade, uh, get something newer at some point, but until this doesn't turn on, it's totally fine. Mentioned that I work from an external hard drive and the hard drive I use and travel with all the time is the Lacey Rugged Mini. It's four terabytes, uh, not even half filled up with all the video footage and photos from the beginning of time. Uh, I personally don't worry too much about losing data. Rob has all the photos backed up in multiple places. Uh, we have copies of all the video footage in the cloud and Ian also keeps that as well. Uh, I'm really particular about media management though, uh, as are the other two guys. So we have very comprehensive folder structures for everything. Uh, makes things very easy to find and a lot less frustrating when you're looking for that one particular thing from that one particular time. Even though I personally don't do the photo or video editing, I do have a card reader here. It's by Lexar. Uh, it's a dual card reader, so it takes both SD and CF cards. Uh, a lot of times when we're shooting, uh, we'll just do a quick test shot for like lighting or framing, and then just quickly pop the card into the card reader and check out the footage so we know we like what we're working with. Right in front of my keyboard, I have this pen slash pencil holder. Uh, it's by Hein. We had them made when we launched the shop, and sadly, they are all sold out now. Uh, it's handmade, has the HSS monogram underneath. Uh, it's a nice little desk accessory, and right now I have my Mont Blanc Meisterstück ballpoint pen resting proudly in it. I am not a fan of making notes on my phone or making lists that live on my computer. I feel like if I do that, they just disappear. I completely forget about them, which totally defeats the purpose of writing things down in the first place. I need to see things in front of me. I enjoy making lists and then crossing things off uh, and then keeping some of my longer term ideas also top of mind by having them in front of me. So two ways that I do that. I have a desk pad here. It's by Exacompta, also available in the shop. Uh, it's a very simple desk pad. It's metal, 
has rubber feet on the back so it doesn't slide around or scratch the surface of the desk. Uh, one of the best things about this is that it's refillable. You just unscrew these two nuts right here uh, and then you can load in another pad when you're finished with the one you're using. I'm also kind of obsessed and very particular about post-it notes. Uh, they have to be this canary yellow color. Uh, these I often stick on the bottom of the computer monitor. Generally I use these for keeping track of content ideas. If I have an idea for a video or a series of videos, I will put them on a post-it note and then on the bottom of the computer screen right in front of me so it's impossible for me to forget the idea that I just had. It makes it easy to refer back to when I'm looking for new video topics. Uh, it's not a very modern or cutting edge system but it works really well for me uh, and really helps keep me on track. Over here on the side of the desk I have the Anchor PowerPort USB charger. It has six different slots. I always try to keep things topped off including these two power banks. One is the Anchor PowerCore 13000 and the other one is also by Anchor, but it's much older. Uh, it's not available anymore, actually. Uh, and I really recommend the PowerCore 13000 over that one. Uh, fully charged, you can get four full iPhone charges out of it. Super handy. Uh, and all of these things here, the power port and the two power banks, are things that I always travel with. Definitely the PowerCore 13000 is with me every single day. Behind the desk is a bookshelf slash cabinet by IKEA. It's the Calax model. On the top shelves, I've got some rake magazines and some other random stuff that is not really organized in any special way. Uh, on the bottom, I've got drawers on one side and doors on the other. The drawers have some miscellaneous gear, extra office supplies, stuff like that. Uh, and then the doors hide a lot of the piles <laughs> that accumulate, so we're not going to show you those. On top of the bookcase is my printer. It's a Canon PIXMA IP110. Nothing fancy. Uh, it's all I really need. Next to that is a brass magazine stand by Firm Living. This is available in the shop. Uh, in front of that, a five slot version of the Hein pen slash pencil tray. Got a letter opener made for us by Abby Horn. Going to be available in the shop, but uh, currently not listed. Couple random notebooks, uh, a few select books that I keep displayed up there. Uh, then I have this brass business card holder, which is uh, something we used to carry in the shop. Uh, super popular item, but the brand stopped producing them for some reason, so uh, they can no longer be had. Then a small desk lamp. Got this at Target. It's very inexpensive. And then finally this brass cup, which I use to keep all my extra pens and pencils in one place. So that's it. That is my desk setup here in the studio. It's where I spend a lot of my time doing a lot of the work for He Spoke Style that you don't see on camera. Uh, and speaking of, we have a video in the works where I'll show you uh, how we shoot our videos, what our setup is, uh, so definitely stay tuned for that. I'm going to put links to everything I mentioned in this video down below in the description. As always, thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you get notified every time we publish a new video. Till next time, thanks for watching everyone, and stay tailored. <laughs>